Hey guys, you're tuning in to What's the Word with Brittany and Simone. And we want to know, are you here for the BS? Are you here for Brittany and Simone? Are you here for the shenanigans? Are you here for the bullshit? Because we're here to give it to you. I am so excited that we are releasing our first vlog. Yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to us. It's Black History Month. Yes, and these are the best 28 days of the entire year. I really feel like Black History Month should be Black History Month. We're going to talk about Black Excellence. Oh, yeah. Um, so this month coming out is Black Panther. And this is one of the most highly anticipated films of the year, which I'm really excited about. It comes out February 16th, and the soundtrack, which is produced by Kendrick, comes out February 9th. And then on the, the album, he has SZA, All the Stars, which is a St. Louis native. Um, I'm from St. Louis. I'm from Chicago, but I live here now, so. She's from St. Louis. No, no, no. <laughs> Chicago all day. What's up, South Side? But yes, I am a now I am a resident of St. Louis, so I'm embracing all of the STO culture in the world. Yeah, she loves she loves it. Here. <laughs> but yeah, so like SZA is on the album. Also, there, there will be appearances by Swali, Two Chains, Khalid, <laughs> and The Weeknd, and Travis Scott, and the list goes on. I'm actually gonna show up in to the premiere like. It's some African woman to yeah. Really? Or dress like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cat woman. <laughs> well, so Valentine's Day is coming up. You got any plans? I do. I'm actually going to see Black Panther. And my boyfriend won't tell me what we're going to do, but I just feel like he will make up the plan. No, he probably time. has some expensive reservations <laughs> at a really good restaurant, and she just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, you know, he probably could, you know, cut me some slack. He'll be doing all right. What about you? Well, I think I'm going to Netflix and chill this year with mm -hmm. my boyfriend. Okay. Um, we've been really into this show called Green League. Have you heard of Green yeah. League? Yeah. Oh, I love Green League. Green League, Green Green League. League is real, okay? Green People League. in the church are the worst. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Green League, this empire mixed in with a little bit of power, mixed in with church. In the church, so, okay? It's like, pretty good. Check it out. Really has been spilling <laughs> all the tea. I feel like once you become a certain age, you just don't care anymore. You have nothing to lose. So oh, this Quincy Jones. He, he old enough. He said <laughs> he been out for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Quincy Jones just did an interview with GQ, right? And he just starts saying all this crazy, crazy stuff. Like he was dating um, Ivanka Trump. Trump. He said she had the best legs ever. Read the quote. When he said. She had the most beautiful legs I ever saw in my life. And then he said. Wrong father, though. Like, what do you even mean by that? I don't know what he's trying to insinuate with that. And then another part of the interview I thought was very interesting. He said one of the things he wished he didn't know was who killed President Kennedy. I don't know that. So you know who killed President Kennedy. So, so you're not gonna tell him. But I guess it's a little too late. I mean, yeah, it's been about over 50 plus years. But you know. But yeah, you guys can check that out um, with GQ. You can uh, can just Google. The interview. Um, oh, it's everywhere. It's on yeah. Twitter. It's on Instagram. It's pretty funny. It's There's pretty... excerpts everywhere. So yeah. Um, Kylie, as everybody knows, she just had her baby, Stormy. <laughs> what a <laughs> Stormy. You like that? I think that's. It's actually cute. kind of cute. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge Kardashian Jenner Empire fan. But you know, they can be all right sometimes. But I actually was kind of touched when she had the little video. I have watched it. Um, probably like two days after it came out and it was just kind of one of those things I was watching in the middle of the night. It was kind, it was, of, it was kind of cute. It was kind of cute. You know, I'm like, maybe they're actually human. Yes, I'm praying for this baby. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to pray for how this baby looks. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I Travis think the baby is going to be cute. I think, you know, we're going to pray on that. I like Travis Scott though. I love Travis Scott. Travis Scott. I love Travis Scott. Travis Scott and his music and everything. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just kind of being real, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna pray on it. Babies are beautiful. Babies, babies are miracles. So yeah. there it is. Will Smith um, recently released a video yes. blocking his son's video, Jaden Smith icon. I thought it was pretty dope. He's okay. Will Smith is hilarious. He really has become an Instagram icon. He only had Instagram for about a month and a half. Like. He did this video just 
doing a little parody of this song. But he's his biggest fan, so yeah. it just shows like how great of a father Will Smith is. He knew all the lyrics. Um, you guys can check that video out. But I, I thought it was pretty funny. It was hilarious, and then you know, of course, he's from what side of Philly. He had to represent for the Eagles, so he did a video for that too during Super Bowl, and I thought that was funny. Well, my boyfriend is a Patriots fan, so... So he was salty. <laughs> just a little bit. Just All right. a little bit. Just a little bit. But did you check out Kevin Hart, though? Oh, no. He was, he was trying to get on stage. They said they wasn't going for it. They was not going for it. They was like, Kev, you too turk. Oh, bro, you can't do that. But shout out to the Eagles for winning their first and only Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Free me! <laughs> so did you check out... Migos culture too. I like it. How do you feel about it? Honestly, man? my favorite song still is Stir Fry. Mine is Walk It, Talk It, Walk It, Walk It, Walk It, Walk It. Talk it. But with Stir Fry, like that has gave Migos so many endorsements across the board. Like if you see the Apple and Sprint commercial, they had an emojis singing the words to the song. I'm like, what? And then Tasty Buzzfeed Tasty Dash to do the recipes. They were cooking Stir Fry. I'm like. I just like Migos because they created a platform where they have so many people from different ethnicities listening to them. It's just so diverse. Yeah. Like, you never know who listening to them. Right. Migos nowadays. Like, it could be your grandma. It could be. They just opened a whole new world so, for music, so I, I think it's pretty dope. Mardi Gras is coming up. Oh, yeah. Well, if you didn't know, St. Louis had the second largest uh, Mardi Gras celebration right after New Orleans. I know some people are like, what, St. Louis? Yes, it's a heavy French influence here as well. We turn up just as hard. But I do want to go to Nova one day. I'm kind of jealous of people that's going. But we still have well, Speaking of celebrations, you have your organization, YSP. And you guys have celebrated your first year, so tell me a little more about that. Yes, so YSP, it stands for Youth Expression St. Louis. It is a nonprofit that me and some of my friends came together. We launched actually last year, January 2017. So basically, it's a platform for kids, especially in North St. Louis, that don't have a lot of things going for them. Um, so basically, you give them a platform for creative expression and not only for that, become change agents within the community. So we will host monthly open mic nights at a local library and just seeing these kids grow and enhance and just building this confidence and just really expressing themselves through the art, dance, poetry, mm -hmm. you name it, they're doing it. And it just warms my heart that it's already been here. And I was able to attend the birthday party event that they hosted. Yes. Um, and you know, it was really great to see that these kids came together and were loving the fact that they could perform and just not be judged. So it's, it's really something that's good for the community. Definitely. Especially here in St. Louis. Definitely. So. We, we, they need it. And yeah, we need it. I'm here for it. And I'm it's, so proud. Thank you. <laughs> so my podcast is called 94XO. And it's a platform that I created for people in St. Louis that can sing or they dance, uh, photography, arts, rapper, any type of talent that you have, I promote it. So nice. I, I let them practice, they interview with me, mm -hmm. and then they're able to advertise their work um, and just network with each other. Mm -hmm. So in the future, I want to create events for them and stuff like that. But that's what my podcast is. Now my crafts is called SK Crafts. And so I do make things like signs and um, lip gloss, lip gloss too. And, yes. and that's being created into another um, brand called Embrace Cosmetics. And I want to just do things that are more natural, um, things that aren't too much on the face, just so you're able to embrace your beauty. Yes. And so that's that's a little bit of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. so just stay tuned. Stay tuned. So if you want to learn a little bit more about me and all the media personality things I do and entrepreneurial things, you can visit my website at the link below at www.brittanyforest.com. That is B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y, forest with two R's, dot com. And you can also follow me on social media at bbforest93. That's on Instagram and Twitter. And my website is also in the link below. It's www. Moni XO, M O N N E X O dot com. And you can also follow me on social media uh, at Moni XO as well. Thanks for tuning in to What's the Word with Brittany and Simone. See you next time.